The question Unit 4 asks is, what makes us happy? At first glance, this seems like one of the easiest questions we've asked in this course. Surely all of us have some ideas about what might make us happier. I need more time. I need more money. I need a job. I need a car. I need the car in front of me to realize that the lights have changed. Uh, but what if you ask, what do I need to be happy for the rest of my life? Suddenly those easy answers aren't so convincing anymore. Everyone wants more money, but research indicates quite clearly that most lottery winners are no happier after their big win than they were before. In fact, however they got the money, the rich are only slightly happier than the rest of us. So if money isn't the source of lasting happiness, what is? Well, sometimes the oldest answers are still the best ones. 2400 years ago, the Greek philosopher Epicurus said that all we really need to make our lives happy is an untroubled mind, a couple of friends, and the freedom to choose a simple lifestyle. With the right mindset, a simple meal of bread and cheese can give you just as much pleasure as you'd get from dining in the finest restaurants of Paris. His advice on how to cultivate that mindset is still some of the best that you'll find anywhere. But is life really about nothing more than trying to be as happy as we can until the moment when we inevitably die? For some of us, that thought is more than a little depressing. Maybe instead of asking what might make us happy, we should be asking what will give my life meaning? There are a lot of different answers to that question. Consider love, for example. When you try to imagine the best possible life for your son or daughter, do you imagine them being alone? Of course not. Though love doesn't always make us happy, it can provide us with some of the most intense and meaningful experiences we will ever have. What about beauty? When we explore the ancient cities of the world, we aren't generally interested in studying their business startups, their schools, or their supermarkets. We go to see their statues and sculptures, their paintings and palaces. None of these things will help us to get a job, get a mate, or get over an illness, but we seek them out all the same and feel better about our lives for doing so. What about spirituality? Every culture around the world has developed its own set of religious beliefs and practices, often several sets. When something is so universal, surely it must connect to a deep and ongoing human longing. Maybe the meaning of our lives is to be found outside of our lives and outside of this world, just as Plato suggested at the very start of our course. There are many other possible answers. Just to name a few that you may encounter in Unit 4, some have looked for meaning in caring for others, in the pursuit of justice, in personal growth, or in the slow accumulation of knowledge and wisdom. All of us want to be happy. In Unit 4, we will have a chance to explore what else you might want out of life.